Andy Kaika Anderson is a two-term Honolulu City Councilman serving the Windward District of Oahu. He is the current Vice Chairman of the Council and has worked in the state and city government for 16 years. Councilman uh, Ikaika Anderson, you're the only Native Hawaiian candidate. Uh, what would you do about the federal government's involvement in Native Hawaiian self-government, governance? Well, as a Kamehameha Schools graduate and uh, if elected to Congress as the only Native Hawaiian member of the 435 member Congress, I would favor federal recognition of, from the Obama administration uh, via rulemaking. And the reason I say that is because Senator Akaka spent more than a decade of his career trying to get Congress to finally recognize Native Hawaiians. It's something that needs to be done, and I believe that uh, through federal rulemaking, through the president, is the best way to do it. Additionally, in talking to Senator Akaka, he's extremely concerned that without federal recognition, Native Hawaiian programs, particularly those that benefit education with the Native Hawaiian Education Act, could possibly be challenged successfully at the Supreme Court level. You know, and the meetings going on right now are, are highly controversial, and do you think the federal government should be involved in those meetings? I believe the federal government has to be involved in those meetings, and I understand that emotions are running high. There are many in the Native Hawaiian community who feel hurt, and I certainly, as a Native Hawaiian, I understand that. But we do need to realize that, that the, the United States is not going to withdraw from Hawaii. The kingdom is not going to be restored in the capacity that it was prior to 1893. What we really need is a government-to-government -government relationship. The best way to have that happen would be through the federal rulemaking process and for President Obama to issue an executive order to that effect.